Hello, and welcome to a quick demonstration of how you can activate Enable EDR within your Insight RMM platform. Powered by Sentinel-1, Enable EDR for Insight provides industry-leading endpoint security, enabling MSPs to unify endpoint management. Endpoint detection and response paired with remote monitoring and management for effective endpoint protection gives you the best of both worlds. With Enable EDR for Insight, you can map your customer, site, and user's hierarchies into Sentinel-1 using the uniquely designed EDR configuration wizard. Monitor your devices in Insight and access Sentinel-1's console when they need attention. Use Sentinel-1's full EDR capabilities. Leverage multiple AI detection engines and accelerate threat investigation. Respond effectively through automation, rollback endpoints in case of ransomware, and more. Now, let's see how easy it is to activate and deploy Enable EDR for Insight. We are now in the Insight dashboard. To activate Enable EDR, click the Integration Management icon to the left, then Start Trial for Endpoint Detection and Response. Your trial license will be provisioned in a few seconds now. Once your trial license is generated, click Configure to launch the EDR Configuration Wizard. Here you can copy customers across from Insight RMM to Sentinel-1, like so. Select the clients and sites you wish to map into your Sentinel-1 account, then click Next. You can also copy users over. Select the users that will be created in Sentinel-1 based on your existing Insight user, then click Next. Here's a summary of the actions you've taken so far. These are the customers, sites, and users you selected to copy over to your Sentinel-1 console. If you're okay with the selection, you can click Confirm and all the items will be quickly copied over to Sentinel-1. You can also go back to any steps to readjust selections as needed. Okay, checking to see all the items we need are here. It looks like everything was successfully copied over. Now let's check out the Sentinel-1 console. Click on Go to Sentinel-1 and we'll be redirected to the Sentinel-1 console right away. Now we're in the Sentinel-1 console. Click Continue and let's explore our Sentinel-1 dashboard. All our selected clients and sites are here. Now let's set up the endpoint protection policies. We'll go to our Sentinel endpoints, left side menu here, then to Policy. To edit the protection policy, click Change Configuration, and from here we can select the detection engines we want to run, the protection level we're comfortable with, and adjust settings per your needs. Don't forget to save changes when you're done. Now let's go back to the Insight dashboard. The EDR activation steps have been completed, so we can click Finish. But we can always access Sentinel-1 at any time from Integration Management and open it up in a new tab to set up exclusions and refine our EDR settings. Back in the Insight dashboard, we can now deploy the Sentinel-1 EDR agent to our endpoints. From the North Pane menu, go to Settings, then EDR, then Settings. This capability enables real-time deployment for both Windows and Mac OS devices, allowing you to bulk deploy EDR to your devices for instant protection. From here, you can select the sites and endpoints, servers or workstations, and how you want to deploy EDR to these devices you manage. Don't forget to save your updated settings. Now back to the main Insight dashboard. Let's check if EDR is running on your devices. Refresh your dashboard first. It looks like the deployment is pending, but in a moment you'll be able to see a Reboot Required icon. Let's refresh again, and now your EDR is up and running. Let's check the EDR agent health status. Here, we can see that the EDR agent is active on the devices we selected for deployment. We can also see the threat status reported by the EDR agent. And now that the deployment is complete, we can go to the Sentinel-1 console to double check. We can confirm that the EDR agent is up and running on all the devices we deployed it to from the Insight platform. And that's it! You now have access to Sentinel-1's full EDR capabilities, APIs, and the ability to try the more advanced security features. Learn more about Enable EDR at enable.com.